All right, you already know what it is, Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. It's me, your illustrious host, Professor Lake, in the building once again, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Chip, be a Fourth Quarter Boy for life, man. Hit that notification bell. Get notified every time I drop a video. So today we're going to talk about the Chicago Bears free agency frenzy. So that means today we're going to talk about uh, some new players, some new bears, some guys that we're going to have to learn to embrace. So we're going to talk about Larry Yogan Joby. We're going to talk about Lucas Patrick. And we're going to talk about Nicholas Morrow. All right. So, you know, the other day, you already know that I did a video on Larry, Larry Ogan Joby. So I'll cover him last. First, I want to talk about Lucas Patrick. Definitely like the signing addressing the offensive line. Um, yeah, we needed a guard center type of player, somebody that could be versatile in case of injury. So that's definitely a plus uh, when you get a guy that could play two different positions on the line. You know, you never know when your center is going to go down. You never know when your guard is going to go down. You need somebody that can fill in those shoes uh, without skipping a beat. Uh, also, I like that he's coming from a team that has a winning pedigree, uh, the Green Bay Packers. I mean, we've seen uh, how the, our own defense has not been able to stop the run uh, lately against the Green Bay Packers. And he was a part of that. Protecting Aaron Rodgers, he was a part of that. You know, so I definitely want to see what he adds uh, to the offensive scheme as far as being able to interact with Tevin Jenkins, interact with Larry Borum, you know, teach him about football in the right way. You know, hopefully they can follow, a, you know, a veteran that knows what they're doing. You know, somebody that understands what the quarterback wants from them and can, you know, I don't want to say teach, but, you know, some of that just rub off on some of those young guys in our locker room. Uh, I definitely think that's a plus. Uh, we needed guys from winning organizations and we definitely needed to address the offensive line. So if you could tell by how long I've been talking about this, yeah, I'm very excited about uh, getting this guy, Lucas Patrick. Hopefully it works out. Um, he was a rotational pet player. Uh, with the Packers, you know, but due to injury, he ended up, you know, holding on to a position and not really letting it loose. And he's been somebody that the Packers have been relying on uh, for a couple years now. So hopefully he can keep that durability up and, you know, be as reliable for the Packers, um, you know, be the same way for the Bears. I like that free agent signing. Now, when you talk about Nicholas Morrow, a guy that's cut from similar cloth. Uh, comes from a small school, Greenville University. Make the Raiders practice squad. And, you know, similar to uh, Lucas Patrick, due to injury, he was able to get in games and, and eventually become a starter and held on to that position uh, until he eventually got injured. So last season, he did injure his ankle, so he will be coming off an injury. But, you know, what I did see and that I did like about uh, Nicholas Morrow is, you know, his tackling ability. He looks like a really good tackler in the open field. Uh, form tackling too. It's not just like he's bumping his shoulder on somebody and waiting for him to fall. He wraps up and makes sure he brings guys to the ground. So I like that in a linebacker. Um, he was a former safety. So when you look at him in coverage, he definitely looks comfortable out there. And you're gonna need a you're gonna need a linebacker that could go sideline to sideline. That could keep up with some of the more athletic tight ends and uh, running backs that are gonna be attacking the flats. You know so definitely like that sign and I'm looking forward to seeing what he could do on the side of Roquan Smith uh, even as far as just making his job a whole lot easier you know because Roquan Smith is a good player and you know he's hard nosed and you know if they could take a little load off of Roquan and, and spread that around the defense I think that would be good for the longevity of Roquan's career now lastly you know we talked about uh, Larry Ogunjobi Yesterday, I did a little short film session. You know, I don't even want to call it a short film session. Just wanted to find out who this player was, so I watched some tape on my own. And, you know, I cut up some tape to give you, to give you, you know, a basic analysis of what I thought of the player overall. And, you know, a lot of guys disagreed with me. I don't know how much of Larry Ogunjobi you've seen or how many games you've watched, but let's remember we did beat the Bengals. Let's not forget that. We beat the Bengals, and he was on that team at the time. Secondly, you know, uh, I, I went further, took your advice, watched more tape, and, you know, I stand firm on my opinion. So, you know, if there's anything that I could learn, or if there's anything that you could tell me differently, uh, please let me know. But 
I say that to say this. You know, it's not that I think he's a bad player. You know, I was kind of alarmed by the amount of money that, that Ryan Poles was willing to pay this guy, especially when you're letting guys walk out the door um, that are pretty talented, that are proven players, and are taking, you know, a third less money. You know, just think economically. You know, just even if it was just economically, it could have been done a little bit better. And then it would have been a little bit more acceptable, you know, so. Oh, they, don't take me out of context, guys. You know, I'm definitely a Bear fan. Definitely looking to see Larry Ogunjobi be a productive Bear. And, you know, and I'm expecting it now. So, you know, that's what it is. Those are my opinions on the free agents that the Chicago Bears and Ryan Poles have recently signed. Definitely excited about the second day uh, signings of the offensive lineman Lucas Patrick and the linebacker Nicholas Moreau. A little puzzle, you know, about the contract uh, for Larry Ogan and Joby. Hopefully, I won't uh, be disappointed, you know, this upcoming season. But with that in mind, you already know what it is. It is me, the illustrious one, Professor Lake, in the building, man, fresh out the kitchen with them biscuits, man. You already know what it is. Fourth Quarter Boy Sports, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Be a fourth quarter boy for life, man. Hit that notification icon. Get notified every time I drop one, boy. I'll holla at your man.